Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use forward chaining technique to prove the given first order logic statement with the help of simple solved example. This is the example I will be considering. The law says that it is a crime for an American to sell weapons to hostile nations. The country known as an enemy of America has some missiles and all of its missiles were sold to it by Colonel West, who is an American. An enemy of America counts as hostile in this case. So given this problem definition, now we need to prove West is a criminal using forward chaining technique in this case. In the previous video, I have already discussed how to convert this problem definition into first order logic. The link for that video is given in the description below. Once you convert uh, this problem definition into first order logic, we will get eight different clauses here. Now what we need to do is we need to divide these eight clauses into two sets. The first one is known as the rules and second one is known as the facts here. If you look at the five, six, seven, eight, uh, what is the meaning of uh, fifth one is West is an American. So that is the true fact here. Similarly, sixth one, what it says is uh, no, no is an enemy of America in this case. Similarly, seventh says that uh, the no, no owns M1 missile and M1 is a missile here. So all these things are the facts here. If you look at the first four clauses, uh, uh, the fourth one you can notice here. Whenever X is a missile, then X is a weapon here. So entire statement is true here. Whenever X is a missile, then X will become a weapon here. So individually we don't know, but the entire statement is true here. Similarly, if you look at the third one, if X is an enemy of America, then we can say that the X is a hostile here. Again, we don't know individually, but the whole statement is true in this case. So that's the reason these four are called as the rules here and the remaining four are called as the facts in this case. So once you divide these clauses into rules and facts, now what we need to do is we need to apply the forward chaining technique and then we need to prove the given statement. In this case, we want to prove West is a criminal here. Now what we need to do in forward chaining is we need to start with the known facts. So how many facts are there? There are four facts are there. One is the American West, Missile M1 owns Nono M1. That means uh, Nono owns M1 here. And enemy Nono, comma, America. The meaning of this one is Nono is an enemy of America in this case. In forward chaining technique, what we do is uh, we will use the known facts and then we go on generating the new facts until we reach the goal node in this case. So, what we do is we will consider the first one. If you consider American West the fact, uh, we will check whether this uh, American West is present on the premises side of any of the rule. If that is the case, uh, we will prove that uh, the conclusion is also true here. So if you look at the four uh, rules, American X is present in the first rule, but along with that, there are some more things are there. So that's the reason you cannot say that uh, uh, X is a criminal here. But if you look at this one, that is uh, missile M1, uh, what is the meaning of this one? M1 is a missile here. If you look at this fourth uh, rule, what it says is, if X is a missile, then X is a weapon here. So we already know that M1 is a missile. What is the meaning of that one? The meaning of this one is M1 is a weapon in this case. Now if you consider another uh, rule here, uh, that is uh, second uh, rule in this case, what it says is, if X is a missile and X is owned by Nono, the meaning of this one is West has sold X to Nono in this case. Now what is present here? M1 is a missile. That is 100% true. And what is the another thing known to us? M1 is a missile which is owned by whom? No, no in this case. The meaning of this one is West has sold missile M1 to no, no in this case. So that is what we can conclude in this case. Now coming back to the another rule, what we have is uh, whenever X is an enemy of America, X is a hostile here. So what we have in this case, we know that no, no is enemy of America. What it means? If no, no is enemy of America, no, no is a hostile nation in this case. Now, if you look at these uh, uh, all seven uh, facts here, the first one and these uh, three new generated facts will give us the left side or the premises of the first rule here. What is present here? American X. What is present over here? West in this case. So, wherever there is X, we can replace it with what? The West in this case. And second one is what? Weapon M1. So, wherever there is a Y, we can replace it with M1 in this case. Now, what is the next one? West has sold M1 missile to Nono. The meaning of this one is the Z should be replaced with Nono in this case. Now, if I perform this particular thing, you can notice here all the premises of this rule are true. If all of them are true, 
its conclusion is also true. What is present on the conclusion side? Criminal X. X is replaced with what? West here. So that's the reason we prove that West is a criminal in this case. So this is how we apply the forward chaining technique for the given uh, set of uh, first order logic to prove the given statement. I hope the concept of first order logic is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.